Day nine here at Lakeside. Here I am joined by Chris Mace, the ace. Uh, it, it's unbelievable. We're at the Lakeside. It's very busy. Yeah, a couple of hours before the final. Chris, Glenn Durant takes on Mark McGinn. What a great, firstly, what a great week he's been. Yep. And two, two big, well, number one and number two seeds. First time in, I think it's uh, 1991. Yes, it is. Yeah, we had that. Um, final set Friday, yeah. where all, every men's quarter final match went down to the wire. We've had comebacks, and we got the number one and two seed in the final. Uh, we had Unterbunkner. The, 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 I, I, I've nicknamed him. Apparently, <coughs> there's a, there's a rumour going around in the press room. Someone spoke to somebody in Germany in Munich, and apparently his nickname is the T Rex. Right, okay. Maybe due to his throat. I don't know. But good call. I've called him the German sensation because I think he's the only German lad who's ever gone deep into a tournament. So anyone to win a game here? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, he, he was. He was fabulous. He ran out of ran out of steam yesterday in the the semi final against Magini. Magini dodged a bullet there. He, he's rode a bit of luck. He himself, he's he struggled to come through Adam that Adams game in the first round. That could have been so different. Mm. Um, but that's why he's the, the, the world ranked number one player. Yeah. He's not the number one seed in this. Number one seed's Glenn Durrant, defending champion. And he's, he's, he's beat some good players here this week as well. I mean, that game against Jim Williams, he yeah. four one down, and how he found the strength to throw them darts. I think I don't know if it's th uh, twelve legs in the last thirteen. Yeah, twelve legs in the last thirteen. He averaged one hundred and seven in the last four sets. That's amazing. Uh, and he also put on an absolute clinic on Scott Wakes. Well, he, six he, two. He took him to the cleanest. Yeah, he did. He, he, he really, done a job he, on him. He, did a bit, he taught him a lesson, really. Yeah, and McGinney time. sort of. Struggled at uh, three or I, I, I think I, I was working for BT and I said he'd gone off that stage, he came back on, mm -hmm. you could see a different, he had a, uh, you know, almost skipped back yeah. on the stage. He come back with a purpose <laughs> and, he, and he, he dominated him then for a couple of sets. A little bit of a comeback that we've seen from from Mikhail, but then he then he kicked on and he, and he wrapped it up. The big difference in the stats, nearly 10 points in their tournament averages. Mm -hmm. The 180 stats are a mile apart. Um, I think McGinney's done incredibly well to get to the final. It's the best, it's best he's ever done. Yeah. Uh, I cannot see him having a chance in the final. Uh, unless Glenn Durrant turns up not very well or not switched on. For the people that tune in, Glenn's been here since I wa I've walked in about an hour ago. Glenn is on the board already. Yeah. There's no sign of Mark. And we're, we're now just coming up to three o'clock. Glenn is absolutely focused on this yeah, game. Yeah, he's on it. He, he, I think the, the mentality changed for him when there was whole, the whole Q school thing. The yeah. whole, everyone was talking about the PDC with Glenn. When he came out and beat Jim Williams, it all went. Yeah. Pressure's off him. Well, he made a statement to say, if I, if I win the quarterfinal against Jim, Jim Williams, my career is going to be yeah. going to stay in the video, and everyone's like, "Oh, you're mad, you're mad." Listen, he wins 100 grand tonight. Who's mad? You go and you know, jack his job. He you'll mad. go and exactly. tour. He's one of the most popular players in in the sport of darts. Not, don't worry about PDC BDO. Uh, we'll have him on uh, on our exhibitions. We'll go. We, he, he, you know, he will. Talented, he will go in the Ryland's UK qualifiers. He'll be in the Grand Slam. So he'll get his share of PDC stuff. And he'll come back next year. If he wins it today, he joins an elite group of three. Yeah. Adams, Barnevel, Bristow. What a lovely group of players to be it's amazing. amongst. I mean, for me, the, the interesting thing for me is every world champion from last year, mm -hmm. so far, fingers crossed for Glenn, will defend their title. Justin yeah. Van Tegel, yeah. Lisa Ashton, yeah. and Glenn Durant. Yeah. Firstly, that's, um, that's amazing in, in, in the world of dart because yes. you can go to tournaments and it's very often, not very often, you see three world champions at the same tournament defend it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a rarity and this, you know, this, that's what this place is all about. It, it, you know, it creates a bit of history, mm. it gives us stories, it gives us things to talk about. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to the final because I'm a Durham fan. I'm looking forward to him putting on a display. Uh, he's been a couple of times been deep into a nine. Uh, I think Durant is a, is rightly the huge favourite. Um, he's got he knows how to win it. He, he's pro he got the t-shirt. Yeah. You know he's read the book. Uh, like I said, it's, and it's no no disrespect to McGinney. I think he's he's had a fabulous tournament. Well. But it's levels. You know, it's all about levels. Consistency. Yeah. Is for, the consistency to Glenn for me is a total different consistency with Mark. Yeah. Um, and again, one, B games. Number one and number one. Number one and number two seed, sorry. And uh, looks like I said, Glenn has been on for, on for a nine that I think, is it 180, 180? Yeah. About three times in yeah. this tournament so far now. Yeah. And it would not surprise me. No. Really would not surprise if me he is if, one in one, the final. if one bangs Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm expecting him to average. Close to a ton. Mm. I think. It, I think it would be. He, he would dominate. I think he wins the final seven two. For me, I think McGinney. He'll come out strong at the start, but Glenn will just break him down, break him down, break him down. Yeah. I think 
for me, 7-2 is not a bad shout. I'd probably go 7-3 just because of the longevity of the sets. And you're not as cool as me. And I'm not as cool as they. I ain't got one of these shirts. It's got a nice windmill shirt, but I ain't got one of them flashy shirts. Yeah, where is my windmill shirt? <laughs> Everyone's asking for these, you know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. I think they'll both be quite competitive at the start. Yeah, yeah. And then it'll just break Well, down. early nerves will bring them closer together, I think. Yeah. I think Glenn will have a bit of, maybe a little bit of early nerves just to shake off. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's quite an emotional character, uh, he loves being world champion, yeah. you know, he took that trophy the length and breadth of the UK. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the final, not because I think it's going to be competitive, I'm looking forward to Durham putting on a bit of a clinic, 7-2. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget, for all viewers outside the UK, USA and New Zealand, you can watch it live on the BDO Darts YouTube channel.